What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time we're going to be looking at a brand new tempered glass screen protector that I just got in from ESR. Fingerprint resistant, 9H hardness, shadow resistant. So let's check it out. All right, so uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you have been here before, you know that I have been using a paper-like screen protector from the company iCares for probably about the past year and a half. So without further ado, I'm going to be removing my paper-like screen protector. Um, let's just, uh, this is gonna hurt me. Okay, so that, that that hurt, that hurt me. My screen has not been touched by physical hands in probably a year and a half. I've had a paper-like screen protector on there. It's not the official, but it's iCare's brand. I've been using that one and I had nothing but good things to say about it. But I got this over and I wanted to actually go back to a tempered glass screen protector. So, pick this one up from ESR. Supposedly this is uh, fingerprint resistant, 9H hardness, like all the above, like the best of the best, right? So we got everything right here. Let's see what actually comes inside. So you get your cleaning materials right here. get the actual screen protectors and you actually get two of these. So two tempered glass screen protectors right here. And this is the guide. So it does come with a guide and I always like screen protectors that, that come with the actual guide that's gonna allow you to be able to put this on a little more smooth, a little more easier. Uh, the guides just always help out. So basically when you're getting ready to use this, you're just gonna put the guide down around your iPad, uh, clean off your screen and everything really well, and just go for it. Peel off that tape, lay it down in there, and it should match up with the actual guide itself. And you don't have to worry about the placement of it. So that's why I love when screen protectors actually come with a guide that allow you to put this on a whole lot easier. So we're actually gonna go through the process of putting this thing on. So first thing I always like to do is turn my device off. That cuts down on the amount of static electricity on the screen itself. Then with the plastic tray that it comes with, they want you to actually sit that just like so with the edges hanging off. Just like that. Next, we're gonna take one of these cleaning cloths, these cleaning kits, and we're gonna clean the screen off. Make sure there's no dust, no specks, no nothing on the screen. Next, we're gonna actually take the guide, drop it down on top of the iPad itself. We're gonna take one of these tempered glass screen protectors. Peel it halfway back. Press down. And you can see it taking effect. We're just gonna try to get all those air bubbles out. So next thing I'm gonna do is take the guide off of it, starting at the top, and just work all these air bubbles right on out of the sides. So this is the finished product. Now, super glary right now because it's just straight black. The Screen is completely off. I was able to get all the air bubbles out just by pressing to the edges, but I will let you know that there's one corner up here 
You may not be able to see it, but right there, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I press, no matter if I lift up the edging and put it back down, it still is not adhering. So I'm just, I'm not sure if this is just this screen. I'll try the second one a little later on, but for right now, that is the only issue that I am experiencing. Now, we'll tell you the installation process for this is really simple, really easy, and anybody will be able to basically just put this thing on, follow that guide, and not have any problems. So no matter what I'm doing, you can still see right down here in that corner. Like I'm pressing out, it's still not adhering to the screen right there in that one area. Now, screen still looks crystal clear. It feels good to the touch. Let's try a pencil. So using a pencil, this is the Logitech Crayon. Using this is still nice and still fluid. There are no issues there. Next thing we wanna see is will it work with the Magic Keyboard? So here I got the Magic Keyboard. We'll slap it on just to make sure closes up no issues auto sleep weight everything is still there still a go feels good looks good and like i said only issue is that corner now we want to know will this thing actually like bubble up when you put it in a portfolio style case to check that out we got the zugu alpha right here so i'm just going to take it off of that one sit this to the side and we will slide this right down in this case. Now we're looking for edging to start bubbling up. Now we know that we have a bubble already down there in that corner. We're looking for any more of that type of stuff though. There we go. So there we go, we got it in. Now we're looking along the edges to see if we're getting any bubbles. I don't notice any like out of the ordinary other than this one still down here in this corner and i can tell you right now that's gonna irk me to death like that's gonna bug me so it's probably gonna end up coming off but i will try this for a few days i'm gonna let you guys know in a follow-up maybe just throwing this in another ipad video to let you know how this thing works out but as of right now it looks good feels good it works with our pencils fluidly it works with our magic keyboard it works with a portfolio style case um it doesn't bubble up on the edges, but it does have that one minor flaw right there. Like I said, it may just be this one piece. So I may try the next one out just to go ahead and see how it's gonna fit and how it's gonna work. But for right now, that is my only issue with this. So fingerprint resistant, a 9H hardness, you got super clarity. There is no issue with this. And I wanna give it a big thumbs up, but <laughs> verdict is still out on that. So stay tuned for my follow-up review. Um, I'll let you know how this thing pans out over the next couple of days. And then we'll talk about a little bit later on, what are some of the best screen protectors that you can actually purchase for this device right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and update y'all right now. I went ahead and put the second one on and there's no bubble down here. So it was a bad screen protector. I'll reach out to them. I'll let them know to keep an eye out for that, but that's pretty much it. So this one looks good. It's perfect, perfect fit. Same installation, no issues this time. Take care. Until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.